Look what we're making today, y'all. My butamus oven cooked. Easy peasy. Cajun shrimp recipe and a garlic butter sauce. But before we get into the details, do me a favor. Please hit that like button. And please, if you aren't subscribed, if you're liking my videos, I would so appreciate you hitting subscribe. I'd love to have you. So, having said that, let's get into this. Hey everybody, it's me, Hetty, and let's make some lemon butter Cajun oven cooked shrimp. It's so easy. You'll want to do this. Uh, you don't, I'm using my Cajun seasoning. You don't have to. You can use Old Bay, whatever flavoring you like. Or you can leave it off and just put a little salt and pepper if you're just wanting lemon butter. Okay, so again, I'm trying to measure this for y'all, but I don't always, in all honesty, measure everything, okay? So, and I've got two batches I'm going to do. I'm just doing the one batch for y'all here. got two pounds of jumbo uncooked, deveined, shells off, tails on, okay? And like I said, I'm splitting this, so I've got about four cloves. Uh, I've got about eight cloves of garlic in here minced up, but I have, uh, I'm just going to use half. If I, I can't talk today still. I've got two sticks of melted butter, but I'm only going to use half. Y'all know I'm always going to cut it with the oil. That'll have it a good flavor. I have a tablespoon of lemon juice over here, and I'm probably going to give a shake or two of Louisiana hot sauce. It's just first one I grabbed. I like Tabasco just as much. All right, so let's get started. I also, off camera, have some parsley flakes. I'm going to shake over it, but I don't really measure that. So it's just a, you can leave it out, and you can add it in. So what I'm going to do now, I'll pour about half that butter in there. I'm going to give a couple of good shakes, equal about a teaspoon and a half. That's about right of oil that'll help cut that butter and then I'm going to take half of my garlic add that in alright move that out of my way I'm going to add the whole thing of lemon juice I am going to put more in my second batch but not right now and I already know that I'll for sure go with just a couple of little Shakes of Louisiana hot sauce. Just give a little extra kick to the Cajun. You don't have to go out and buy Cajun seasoning. I have a video on how to make it. All right, so I'm probably not going to use all this, but I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some on, and then only after I... You want to coat it pretty well. Not overly overkill, but you want to coat it pretty good because some of it's going to come off in the cooking process, okay? So... All right, you want to, your main thing here, you'll be wanting to get your garlic distributed even. So I'll finish this off camera and I'll bring you right and back. And finally, I'm just going to come in. If you've got fresh parsley, by all means, use it. I used up my fresh parsley ages ago and hadn't been back out. So I just did a good, I don't know, maybe it was a almost around the tablespoon. <laughs> and that's optional as well. I'm just showing y'all how I do it. Okay. So that's pretty easy. So let me switch around. I'll bring you right back. We're going to put this in the oven. I know I said this already, but preheat your oven to 350. Now, I've got jumbo shrimp. So mine are going to take in between about 13 and 15 minutes. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan. The thing about shrimp, you don't want to overcook it. You do not want to overcook it. Hold on, I'm going to get some of the seasoning out of here. Now I'm going to spread this around evenly and clean up my mess. And then I'm going to tell you all a couple of things. Let me do this and I'll bring you right back. What I was telling you is you don't want to crowd your pan. Mine is a little crowded. That's all right. I've been making this a really long time. But preferably, you want a single layer of shrimp, okay? So, like I said, 350. Mine's, mine, my size is jumbo, so it's going to be in between 13 and 15 minutes. If they're pink looking, they're done. If you're not sure, cut one in half and look at the inside. If it's still transparent in the middle, leave it in a couple of more minutes. 
small ones. So anyway, your time, depending on the size of your shrimp, will be in between 9 and 15 minutes at 3.50. Okay? It's going to go in. I'll bring you back when it's done. Would y'all look at that? Isn't that deceptively easy? Now I want to show you something here. He's done. See him? Hope the camera can pick that up. He's not translucent on the inside. They are really tender and beautiful. And now what you might want to do is you'll probably you'll want to drain, uh, take your shrimp up, then pour this up maybe in a, a gravy boat or something. Then you can drizzle it over on your plate. We're serving ours with steamed broccoli. And some want cocktail sauce. So I did that in a previous video. So now you'll get to see them all coming together. Here's that beautiful cocktail sauce. Let me find my little hiding friend. Where'd you go, little piece? There you are. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm, y'all. Look at this. Now, I'm, I'm going to put these in little bowls on their plates, but I just want to show you that. Beautiful. Wasn't that easy? All right, y'all. I hope you're going to try this and like it. You can use whatever seasoning you like. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, all of my recipes are always down below with the instructions and also any links to corresponding videos that pair well with this. For instance, this cocktail sauce link will be down in this one's description and the shrimp will be in the cocktail's description. So wasn't that fun? I want to eat them while they're hot. So I'm going to end this video. I'll see y'all next time.